Hi, I'm Jim Byers and welcome to the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up. As we move deeper into spring, the racing nationally is heating up. On this edition of the show, we have plenty of graded races to recap, so let's begin with a rich one at Sunland Park, Sunday's restricted Grade 2 New Mexican Spring Futurity. It's 300 yards for New Mexico breads with a purse of more than $212,000. This was a driving finish with number 9 winning Merlot, taking a long battle to beat the 3 Dungarees version by a half length, with number 10 Medieval Arrow ahead farther back in third. Francisco Calderon, the winning jockey. Winning Merlot is 2 for 2 in her brief career. She's by Winner's Version out of the dash to fame mare Marilyn Merlot, bred by MJ Farms. Deborah Meredith and Joseph Meredith Jr. are the owners, and Jackie Riddle is the trainer. Fastest qualifier and heavy favorite Kamado's version did not run back to his trial and finished fifth. Time for the winner, 15 seconds flat. Also on Sunday's program at Sunland Park was the Grade 2 Bank of America Sunland Park Championship Challenge. These veterans went 440 yards for better than $105,000. And it was a repeat win in this race for feature Mr. Who. The Florida-bred son of feature Mr. Jess and the Corona Cartel mayor Who's Leaving Corona drifted out in this race but still prevailed by a length under Alonzo Rivera. Now 7 for 21, feature Mr. Who was bred by Buddy and Patty Newsom, who owned him when he won this race in 2013. The gelding is now owned by Hazel Howlett and Julieta Torres with Jose Luis Muela, the trainer. Dead heat for second between the seven, Just Cause I Can, and number nine, Testing the Ice. The time, 20.765 seconds. Three-year-olds took much of the attention over the weekend at Los Alamitos. On Saturday, it was the grade three La Primera del Año Derby for Phillies at 400 yards. Second fastest qualifier, Feisty Flo reported home a one-length winner as the solid favorite under Santiago Mendez. Feisty Flo becomes a graded winner for the first time for owner Freakier, LLC. Jose Flores, the trainer of this California-bred daughter of T.R. Dasher and the Bono Jazz mare, Sables Bono. Quirky had a troubled trip for second with Sis's hot third. The winner's time, 19.634 seconds for this race, which offered a total purse of more than $223,000. Three-year-old Colts and Geldings were featured at Los Alamitos on Sunday in the Grade 3 $202,000 El Primero del Año Derby. Number 6, Moonist, had a perfect journey and finished well for a half-length victory under Cesar de Alba. The second fastest qualifier and solid favorite here is a California-bred gelding by Separatist out of the first down dash mare, Your First Moon, bred by Vessel Stallion Farm, LLC. Now a graded winner and also 7 for 14 in his career, Moonist is owned by Ronald Hartley and trained by John Cooper. Number nine, Fire Cliff ran second with the four, Don't Walk Peacefully third. Final time for 400 yards for Moonist is 19.534 seconds. Sunday's program at Remington Park was headed by the $59,000 grade three Paul's Valley Stakes at 870 yards. The weather came up damp, but the track was fast. In fact, it produced an impressive final time for number two, Wahoo. Top of the stretch, Wahoo by a nose of a free stater. Call her hero a very sharp third. Doc's Dusty Oki creeps up into fourth, a 16th to go, and Wahoo has it now by length and getting clear. Call her hero one more push to the outside, but Wahoo in the Paul's Valley. Fun to say and a fast winner on Sunday, Wahoo takes it by a length and a quarter in a time of 44.918 seconds, a 102 speed index. Russell Hadley, the jockey. Wahoo is a Texas-bred five-year-old gelding by feature Mr. Jess. Out of first to celebrate, who's by first down dash. Wahoo races for his breeder, Bobby Cox. John Buchanan trains. Call her hero a second best, with free stater third. Both the Remington Park Futurity and Derby recently received restricted grade three status for 2014. Over the weekend, trials for both Oklahoma bred events were conducted, with Friday and Saturday's card devoted primarily to futurity trials. Eleven heats were run each night. Runners with the five fastest times from each program will start in the April 19th final. Turning in the quickest time on Friday was Special's Jamie under jockey Augustin Silva. Trained by Casey Willis, the filly finished the 330 yards in 16.583 seconds. Owned by A.C. Taylor, Special's Jamie is a daughter of Ivory James and Special Anywhere by Make It Anywhere. Special's Jamie had one previous outing 
a second place finish at 250 yards. While there were no reported weather conditions that affected Friday's trials, on Saturday it was a bit different, with 5 to 10 mile per hour cross and headwinds noted on official race charts. A light rain fell during the final two trials on Saturday as well, and it was the last trial that produced the top three qualifiers of the night. Penthouse Sweet led the trio to the finish line with a final time of 16.726 seconds. Ridden by Jimmy Brooks and trained by Eddie Willis, Penthouse Sweet made her career debut in the Remington Futurity Trial. Owned by Reliance Ranches, the filly is by Corona Cartel out of the Mr. Eye Opener Mare, The Way You Want Me. The $791,000 restricted Grade 3 Remington Park Futurity Final will be run Saturday, April 19th at the Oklahoma City Track. On Sunday, the Jimmy Brooks, Eddie Willis, Relias Ranches triumvirate was atop the list for the Remington Park Derby, along with the filly Shades of Blues Girl. She stopped the timer at 19.602 seconds in her trial for the 400-yard final. Out of the six-a-run mare run the dash, Shades of Blues Girl was sired by Corona Cartel. Two for two at Remington Park this meeting, she has a career record of four wins from eight starts. Shades of Blues Girl leads a field of 10 three-year-olds in the $298,000 Restricted Grade 3 Remington Park Derby on April 19th. Now for some industry news. Canterbury Park is taking preventive steps to protect its horse population from the equine herpes virus, or EHV-1, after an outbreak of the virus was reported in the state of Minnesota. Highly contagious, EHV-1 can cause respiratory disease, broodmare abortions, and neurologic problems. It is not transmittable to humans. Canterbury Park will require all horses to be vaccinated for EHV-1 14 to 60 days prior to entering the grounds. The vaccination must be documented on the horse's health certificate. Located in Shakopee, Minnesota, Canterbury Park opens its live racing season on May 16th. Ray's a secret, a multiple graded stakes winner and notable sire, died on March 27th in West Haven, Utah. He was 31 years old. While earning more than $705,000, he won 8 of 12 races, including the Grade 1 Dash for Cash Futurity and Grade 1 Low Sal Futurity. As a sire, Ray's a secret's progeny earned more than $10.8 million. He ranks 40th all-time among sires by Money One and 43rd all-time among sires by winners. Among his top runners were Kingman Kid, an earner of more than a half million dollars, and champion Secret Card. Raise a Secret was also a prolific broodmare sire, ranking number 13 on the all-time broodmare sire list by Money One. The 2015 class of inductees into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame was announced on Tuesday. The new members, which include five horses and four men, will be inducted next March at the AQHA convention in Fort Worth, Texas. Among the equine honorees is Corona Chick, two-time racing champion and an American Quarter Horse Dam of Distinction. She earned more than $591,000 on the track and as a broodmare produced an All-American winner and leading sires like Corona Cartel and Valiant Hero. We'll have more on the inductees over the months leading up to the ceremony next March. We'll have a complete list of the Hall of Fame group along with a few more stakes and trial results coming up in a few moments. For now, though, it's time for me to step aside for this edition of the show. Dale Day will be in this chair next week. We hope you join him then. For now, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for stopping in for the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up.